Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes There will be two versions of this recording one will be um, with music, one will be without music, probably. Uh, if the one with music will be about two hours long, and Kevin McLeod's music is used for that, and it's open source. So I hope you're well. My suggestion for this would be probably to sit in a comfortable chair because it's relaxation, it's not sleep it doesn't mean that you won't fall asleep but it is a relaxation session uh, if laying down on your bed is more comfortable which it probably is for most of us really I guess in some ways uh, there is a higher chance of falling asleep and if I was lying down listening I would 100% fall asleep in fact if I was lying down on the bed recording this I would also fall asleep I sometimes fall asleep recording sleep sessions when I'm sitting up like earlier today I did a deep sleep whisper recording I fell asleep Yesterday I did, I can't remember what one I did, but I fell asleep doing that one as well. So, especially if I'm tired and I sit here with my eyes closed. And the thing is, I do what I say I'm doing as I'm saying it. So if I'm talking about focusing on your hands and maybe clenching your hands for a few seconds and then let them go I'm actually doing that process with you at the same time if I'm talking about counting down I'm counting down if I'm talking about closing your eyes I've got my eyes closed so I realise your personal experience will you know, differ from each person However, I quite like the idea that we share the experience, that there's a shared experience, I don't know, emotionally, physically. I quite like that, the idea that we're all, I guess, in it together. And I've got two microphones, I've got one here, and I've got one here. And the idea behind that is I can produce a better quality sound with as little background sound as possible. So, for this relaxation session, I'm going to focus on a feeling. And I guess you can call this feeling, you can call it anything I suppose, but the feeling I'm talking about is a feeling that things are going to be good. You know, a sense that you're going to feel more relaxed. And I understand if you have that feeling Maybe, you know, before you press the play button on a recording like this, if you're a regular listener and you know that once you hear my voice, you already start to feel more relaxed. You know, you're kind of used to 
you know, your breathing sort of maybe slows down a bit and your mind clears. Perhaps sometimes you feel that there's a, a fogginess in your brain and it tends to clear when you hear my voice. And I think that feeling of having your mind clear away the fog lets you see what's really happening, lets you see the reality of what's happening in your mind, as opposed, I suppose, a uh, uh, a similar situation would be when it's dark. You know, you're in a room. Maybe, I mean, it could be an unfamiliar room. So you kind of definitely might, may not know what's going on in that room. You may not know where things are. If you're visiting someone and you go to bed and then you sort of wake up and you're in the dark and you can't quite place where you are. You know, the furniture's in a different place. There may be things on the floor you don't didn't know were there. I mean, they might have a, a dog and there might be dog's toys on the floor. The only way you can see what's in the room is by turning the lights on. And immediately, you feel more peaceful. Immediately, you feel okay. Like, oh, things are going to be all right. You know, that that level of maybe confusion, maybe worry, a mixture of all those different emotions. Uh, maybe fear in the unknown. However mild it may be, those mixtures of feelings can be very uncomfortable. But now, once you've got the light on, you can see where you are and it's, it's almost more peaceful now. So, okay. Well, there's, there's dog's toys to the side of the bed. So if I get up, maybe turn the light on first so I don't tread on them and make lots of squeaky sounds and wake up the rest of the house. So, you know, just those little bits where you can almost plan. Plan the next few hours ahead which then puts your mind at rest. And sometimes, as I'm sure most people would agree, it can be an accumulation of small worries, or maybe things that we would class as small worries that build up into well, stress, pain, emotional pain sometimes physical pain at the very least uh, an unpleasant experience an unpleasant feeling so when your mind clears and that fog that brain fog, let's call it. And some people do call it brain fog. People with fibromyalgia, chronic pain issues, they have that as a term, brain fog. It can sometimes be associated with medication as well. So when that brain fog clears, when the brain fog clears, then that, that thing or that stuff or those issues that maybe you were worried about, perhaps more so because you 
couldn't get a clear picture of what was going on. Couldn't get a clear picture of what may be. So therefore you had to fill in your own answers to those questions. And unfortunately, in that kind of situation, when we have to imagine for ourselves uh, an outcome that may not be very pleasant, there's a chance we'll go in a more of an extreme direction that is necessary or helpful to us. But as that brain fog clears and you can see what's going on in your mind and you can actually get more of a sense of perhaps both what you need to do in the future and also what you don't need to do right now because there's lots of things that you can't do when you're sitting in bed or sitting in a chair lying down we can think about things but how much use is that if we do too much of it because when you're sitting down such as now for example or laying down on a bed and your aim is to feel more relaxed as I sit in my squeaky chair this isn't the time to really plan your future This isn't the time to plan what you're going to be eating tomorrow. This isn't the time to be planning anything really. Because that stuff, whether important or not in your life, has no place in this space that you're in right now. That stuff is unimportant right now for this situation. Because all you need here is to feel relaxed. All you feel is what you feel. And when all you're feeling is just physical sensations then that can change because as you focus on those physical sensations and let's say maybe they are uh, sensations of tension or stress in your muscles the more you focus on them the more they dissolve the more attention you give to them the more satisfied they seem to feel that they have gained your attention because sometimes that's all physical feelings of discomfort actually need from you is your attention like a small baby crying the baby might not actually need anything, not want anything, except to see your face. Maybe to feel your touch, a little hug maybe. And then the baby's happy, contented and goes back to sleep. And it seems that sometimes physical discomfort 
or emotional discomfort can be a very similar situation where if we ignore it which is the natural thing to do it's the most natural thing in the world is you want to ignore it because you don't you don't want it to happen you don't want that experience but if you actually give it your attention but with a positive mind then that feeling changes all feelings are constantly changing anyway but that feeling of discomfort changes whether it's emotional or physical because it's had your attention and when you think about it when you focus on it instead of expecting it to get worse because if that's what you expect that's what's going to happen you can expect for it to reduce and if that's how you feel about it and that's what you're thinking that is what's going to happen you could even be neutral and just be almost in a a meditation mind where you just notice the feeling whether it's physical or emotional or both just notice just observe the feelings in your body and the feelings in your mind just observe them and those feelings will reduce because they have had your attention now when you start doing this more often you get to the point where you really have that addition of expecting those feelings to change and that happens naturally because that's your experience you can do it without having had the experience before but eventually it happens naturally and you may have a your favorite seat that you sit in for 10 minutes every day maybe at a specific time even some people are very organized I'm not particularly but when you sit down in that chair or lay down on your bed you you know what to expect you'll know that your body automatically starts to feel more relaxed not because I'm telling you that because that's what happens and it happens more and more often the more often you hear my voice because you've I guess almost become accustomed to expecting yourself to feel more relaxed when you hear my voice And in the same way you can have the exact the exact same response when you sit down in your chair even when you're not listening to my voice just when you're thinking to yourself I'm going to relax and I'm going to allow that brain fog to just clear I mean it really is kind of a like a very windy day blowing those clouds across the sky so you know one minute you can be completely covered in clouds and you can't even see the sun and you think oh it's a grey day today it's so grey 
and then a couple of minutes later the wind's blown those clouds away and it's beautiful blue sky with the sun shining down and you can have that in the winter you know just on a windy day how easily the clouds disperse and the things can seem clearer to you and you know that ah I mean that could remind you that things are going to be okay because even though in reality we all know that behind the clouds is a blue sky with the sun the client the cloud the sky doesn't change its color it's just we have clouds in front of the sky visually we see the clouds once you're above the clouds in a plane it's a blue beautiful sky with the sun it could be any time of the year because every time of the year it's exactly the same up there so I guess inside we know that don't we we know that it's actually a blue sky and the sun is shining even though we may be looking up at the sky and it's grey and that's all you can see maybe foggy you know who knows raining whatever snowing but it's still sunny you just might not be able to see the sun in the same way in your mind there's always that positivity available for you because if you think about it logically our bodies and our minds are positive in nature your body wants to live your heart wants to beat the lungs want to breathe the different organs help each other out in times of trouble it's a, it's you know it's an amazing organism really our bodies and it's all based on positivity it's all based on things working not not working but working correctly including our minds including our brains including the healing process so under underlying maybe things like stress and you know depression and things like that there is positivity behind the clouds and possibly possibly one of the most important things for us to remember is that the sun is always there even if we can't see it it's always there because that's true and it's just a fact so no matter how cloudy the day may be whether outside or inside our own mind the sun is always there so it's never completely negative it may, it may seem that way at times but it's not because you can't see the negativity without the positivity shining on it you still need that positivity otherwise there'd be nothing there positivity is our foundation the survival mechanism inside all of us is so strong 
I mean, it's as simple as, you know, try and hold your breath. You can't. You can hold it for a while. But that survival mechanism that's automatic, that's beyond our conscious thinking, will force us to breathe. We'll have no choice in it. In the same way as when you push or put your hand on an oven, a hot oven, your hand pulls away. It's not conscious. And no matter what you did, you could try and put your hand against it. You would have to pull your hand away. But not consciously, unconsciously, you would be forced to do that because of the survival instincts, that positivity that underlies our existence. And then when you start thinking about that, start realizing that the foundation of our existence is positive it seems to change change the way you think and feel And that sense of, the sense of knowing or believing or thinking or realizing that things are going to be okay. Because we are born with that. I mean, literally born with that fighting spirit. As anyone has ever seen a baby, babies fight. They will fight to stay healthy. Every every single atom in a baby's existence is based on survival. They haven't needed to be taught that. They know what they need. They need to. They need to eat. They need to drink milk. They need to sleep they need to play they need to do all the things they need to do they'll make sure that they get to do it they need human contact they need to be hugged but they also need to be left alone as well at times we're born with this underlying positivity Which means that actually things are going to be okay because we don't have to rely on ourselves, you know, our conscious effort. We don't have to rely on those things, you know, where we have to keep thinking about stuff all the time and working things out all the time course there's lots of that to do you know a lot of planning if you want to plan and you know we're responsible for what happens to us and how we live our lives but there's a big chunk of our existence that's already okay that's already happening you know, we don't need to think in order to breathe. Don't need to think about stuff. Don't need to have to imagine what it's like to digest your food in order to digest your food. These things just happen naturally. And there's other natural processes that perhaps we lose, we, well not lose, but we maybe forget about as we get older and 
can be reminded of. Those things like being able to enjoy some of the some of the little things in life to gain pleasure and happiness in the moment to be able to rest to be able to relax deeply to be able to get excited about things to be enthusiastic about the future Because then, as these things return to you, you know, you know, it kind of swims around your mind, reminding you to maybe enjoy more of your life and to realize that things are going to be okay. And there's a, it can be a real sense of relief, physical, emotional, stress, you know, a big relief, followed by a sense of relaxation through your body, just calmness, maybe even gratitude towards what you do have in your life. which may change your your attitude towards the future and maybe now you know the moment you're in now can change in an instant so that feeling relaxed and calm can just be a choice where you don't even need to sit down on a chair in order to feel relaxed and calm, but at the same time, maybe full of energy and enthusiasm for what you're doing now or what you're going to do in the future. Just to feel good. It doesn't cost anything doesn't require anything other than just allowing it because all these feelings are available at any time just by choice by deciding that you deserve to be happy that you deserve to feel good inside, to feel relaxed. You deserve to get in touch with that gratitude, not just towards what you've got, but towards who you are as a person. Maybe gratitude towards the things that you've done to maybe help yourself or to help others. To appreciate yourself. Really appreciate yourself. Now. As you focus on your mind and you notice how calm you feel. This feeling moves into the future. And you can add sprinkles of excitement, enthusiasm. You can plant those seeds in your mind now, literally. Because you know your mind is the most fertile soil in the world, on the planet. And whatever you plant in that soil of your mind becomes. 
what you want it to be. So if you want more happiness, plant those happiness seeds. If you want to feel more relaxed, plant those relaxation seeds into that soil in your mind. And it's the most fertile, perfect soil that will grow any seed that you plant. Which is why it's so important to make sure that you only plant positive seeds. Because negative seeds also grow. So it's about taking control. And the way you plant those seeds is by thinking about that thing. Every time you think about feeling relaxed and calm in the week ahead, that's another seed that is planted. Every time you think about feeling healthier, maybe losing weight or, you know, becoming, doing more exercise, whatever it is that perhaps you'd like to do, the more you think about doing that and becoming the person that you wish to be, each time you think another seed is planted, Wanting to be happy. You think about the wanting to be happy. Whatever that may be for you. And those seeds are planted. And the more you think positively. The more positivity comes to you in the future. Because every time you think positively. A new seed is planted into that soil in your mind which is the most powerful fertile soil in existence so every time you think positively you are planting positive seeds into your own mind Which means you'll be happier. So much happier. And you can live the life that you decide. And you can feel more relaxed. Calmer. At peace. Both physically and emotionally. And you can really enjoy being yourself, feeling wonderful. So I'm going to bring the recording to an end on this side. Of course, if you're listening with music, then just continue listening. You can enjoy the rest of your day. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.